Hi YouTube, it's Jonas here and this is a video for Ben Costello, a new guy here on VC who's making videos now. Uh, I talked about him uh, yesterday or two days ago in that video. Check him out, it's, uh, it shows some great stuff. So uh, we've been talking a little bit, sending PMs to each other and he was asking about that record in the background. Uh, so I thought like I'll show that and I'll show some other reissues of psych prog, Swedish psych prog records that I have that is worth checking out at least. Um, so I'll start with the live record. Um, you know, showing Swedish program site is like, I, I really, really, it's my thing, uh, a little bit at least. So I'm, I'm loving doing this video. So thanks Ben for giving me the chance to, to show, show some stuff from my collection. This, this is live, like 1970. This was released 1970. Uh, and the original of this goes for insane money. But it was uh, reissued on a Portuguese, I think, a label called Golden Pavilion on 700 copies. Um, what this is, this is a psych pop uh, going more to over to the, the more heavier prog at some times. Um, and it's gatefold, looks like this. It's just almost exactly like the original release. So they really did a great job and it sounds fantastic. Now, live. If the band Life from 1970, they released two records, one with English lyrics, that's this, this one is the, the English lyrics, that's the hardest one to get if you want the original, and they released a Swedish version with Swedish lyrics also, and that's a little bit easier to get. Both are in the hundred plus pounds, euros, you know, uh, Band. Even that, I don't know if that's a word, but but you know it's super super expensive. Uh, and Ben said that he could get a copy of this for 16 pounds. So I mean that's what it cost these reissues about a little bit expensive maybe plus shipping then if you find them online. But it's well worth it. I mean this is a monster of a fucking record. No one will be sorry to getting this record if you're interested in music. Period. Period. Okay, so some other stuff that I'm going to show. Uh, I've shown this before, but I mean, the Pantare record, I don't know if you know about this, Ben, uh, you other guys. Uh, Pantare was released on uh, Meltronen records. Uh, first of all, Meltronen was uh, not only a label, but a store in Stockholm in, I guess, 90s and early 2000s, but then they stopped that. There's YouTube clips of, of it. It was a psych prog uh, kind of store, and it's very, very uh, talked about as the best store ever. Uh, I mean, if you're a psych prog fan, uh, they released this a couple of years ago, 2012, and it's limited to something, but I can't remember what. Um, and it's kind of interesting because the original of this is super expensive, also, but. What they did was they did a compilation record instead. So this is not the original. Uh, there's two songs here that's on the original release. The Night, 14 minutes long, and Five Steps, uh, 3 minutes long. The rest of them is like outtakes from the, the sessions they did when they recorded the album. So you don't get the original record, which in my, in my opinion is pretty cool because you get a snippet of it and, and you have to buy the original record if you want it. And I love that. Uh, it's a strong record, especially the night, the 40 minute long uh, song is fantastic. This is more on the psych and heavy prog uh, side. So, so a little bit heavier, uh, but in my opinion, fantastic record. Not about that. Uh, another one that a lot of people talks about when we talk about Swedish prog is Saga. Uh, maybe the only real prog prog band in Sweden, but I don't know. Uh, Saga is a symphonic, uh, more of the symphonic side of, of prog. And this was released about 1975 maybe? I'm just guessing here. And it was a record store day release. I got number 659 out of 1000 uh, from Sonic Records. And sounds great. Uh, I mean, you can still get this and the others. Um, I don't. I don't think that this is the best prog record ever recorded in Sweden. I think, in my opinion, this is only okay. And a lot of it has to do with the Swedish lyrics that I just think is awful at times, at least. 
Um, I mean, I'll, I'll get shit thrown at me now, but but the music is fantastic. They really know how to play. Um, so yeah, check it out if you're interested in that kind of prog. They came from a band called November, and November is also very uh, talked about in Swedish uh, prog circuits. They were one of the first bands really to, to uh, do rock in Swedish. I think Pug, uh, Pug Rogefeldt Pug uh, was before them, but, but yeah. They released three records. Uh, uh, the first one was called An Easy Hair, I think, and the other one on November, and the third one was called 6th of November. 6th of November. This was produced uh, by Jojo Vadenius, and he's playing on this too. Fuck, I think so. Yeah, Jojo Vadenius. <laughs> Uh, and this is my favorite of the three. I think that the first one is cool because it's more garagey in the sound. Uh, but then with this one and your yeah, they got a little bit more money, I guess, and could do a more um, a bigger kind of production. And the sixth one is even bigger with uh, uh, people singing on it, uh, choirs and stuff like that. Uh, and that's also re really good. But they sing everything on s Swedish, uh, so it's cool music, but I have uh, some problems with the Swedish singer and the lyrics. Uh, another one that I highly recommend uh, you to get is Doris. Uh, would you give the world, w did you give, give the world some love today, babe? This was also a part of Swedish Record Store Day back in 2010, 11. Uh, and I got number 391 of a thousand. Uh, original disc is pretty expensive, uh, but the reissue is is uh, easy to get still, I think. It's still in, not in print, but there's copies out there. Uh, and what a fantastic record. More pop, pop, pop psych maybe. Uh, really, really cool. And Jan Lofte Carlson playing drums on this, uh, who played with Hansen and Carlson, the Bo Hansen group in the 60s. This was recorded in 1970, and I think the, the main man here is Van Egeblad, who plays organ on this, and he also arranged and conducted all, everything. And so I think I read somewhere that he is the driving force behind the record. But I can be wrong. <coughs> and Doris has a, a great, great voice, fantastic voice. And the last one I'll show you is this one, uh, Sanska Lörd AB, <coughs> also numbered. Hand numbered, thousand copies. I have number 274. And Hörselmat is like a jazz rock record, uh, to be fair, yeah, a jazz rock record. Uh, fusion with great players, uh, fantastic songs, and one of, of uh, Jan Schaffer's earlier uh, recordings. You also have. <coughs> Uh, Bengt Lindqvist, uh, Karl Lundborg, Matti Eriksson, Lennart Axelsson, uh, Jon Bergman, I don't know, not too familiar with me, but a fantastic song uh, or uh, record, so highly recommend this. This is also still available to get from the, the site uh, Figaro Music uh, or in, in stores or, not, or on Discogs. It's a little bit pricier, uh, it was so when it was released, like maybe uh, on the boundary of like 30 pounds maybe something like that but in my opinion so worth it you, if you want a nice copy of the original you have to pay hundreds of pounds just like the other ones almost uh, so yeah <clears throat> and I'll finish this uh, with a book I've shown many many times but if you're into Swedish psych and prog this is the book to own. Uh, progressive Music, the Encyclopedia of Swedish Progressive Music, 67 to 79. Every single uh, record ever released on in that time period with a little bio, people playing on it, <coughs> and the kind of value uh, of the of the record spanning from one to ten, where ten is you know, insanely hard to, to find them. Very, very, very va valuable. Uh, the originals, of course, of this. This is the second press of this book. The first press came with a CD. I don't have that. And this is also still available, but won't be for long, I think. All those uh, books from uh, premium publishing is going out of print pretty fast. 
So uh, they they actually <coughs> some books I've seen on, on Swedish eBay going uh, from premium publishing has gone for um, like seven, seventy pounds, hundred pounds, euros, you know, uh, one hundred twenty, one hundred fifty pound uh, dollars <coughs> uh, after it were uh, finished. So yeah, enough about that. Uh, hope you liked the video. Please comment if you have something to uh, add or say. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye.